So one way to create a drainage profile is actually to use the create cross section tool. So what I've done here is here's our pot pipe network and I've actually drawn a smart line beginning here and then we want to cross the center line exactly once so there's my crossing and then I've run the smart line all the way down to here. Now when I used the uh, smart line unfortunately it doesn't pick up on the segment type of arcs very well so I had to make line segments around this curved portion of the drainage network. So now I just want to use the selection tool and select my smart line. And then if I go to the corridor modeling, create cross sections. The first prompt is locate alignment, so I'll click on my center line. And then we get the cross section dialog box and I want my cross-section displayed in view 6. I'll, I'll just leave the vertical exaggeration and scale and let's name this maybe drainage 1 and then over under the custom folder instead of a type of station range we want to click the drop down and change that to line string so then we click the graphics button and it should pick up on our smart line and it did so there's the section right here at 13 plus 83 and then the line string so from here we're just going to click apply it's still running just a minute to display that cross-section we close out our dialog box so you can see this long cross-section that actually works for a drainage profile